Welcome to the Visual Fractions YouTube channel. Today, we're going to explore the fascinating world of fractions, specifically focusing on how to convert the fraction 8 elevenths to a decimal. Converting fractions to decimals is a fundamental math skill that can be surprisingly handy in everyday life. To convert the fraction 8 elevenths to a decimal, all we need to do is divide the numerator, the top number, by the denominator, the bottom number. In this case, we want to convert 8 elevenths to a decimal. So, we simply divide 8 by 11. The answer we get is 0.727. To do this by hand using long division, we start by writing 8 as the dividend and 11 as the divisor. Since 11 doesn't fit into 8, we add a decimal point in our answer and append a 0 to 8, making it 80. How many times does 11 go into 80? Exactly 7 times. We write 7 after the decimal point in the quotient. Multiplying 7 by 11 gives us 77. When we subtract 77 from 80, we get a remainder of 3. Next, we add another 0 to the remainder, making it 30. How many times does 11 go into 30? It goes in 2 times, which we write next to the 7 in our quotient, giving us 0 0.72. Multiplying 11 by 2 gives us 22. We subtract 22 from 30 to get a remainder of 8. Adding another 0 gives us 80. How many times does 11 go into 80? Again, 7 times. We add this 7 to our quotient, resulting in 0 0.727. After subtracting 77 from 80, we're left with 3 as a remainder, indicating the start of a repeating cycle. We stop at 0.727 for this explanation, but if we continue the division, we would find that the digits after the decimal point start to repeat, forming a recurring decimal. In the case of 8 elevenths, if we continued, we would see a repeating sequence. However, for many practical purposes, rounding to three decimal places, as we've done here, is sufficiently accurate. So, there we have it. The fraction 8 elevenths converted to a decimal is 0.727. This conversion process shows how we can represent fractions as decimals, a valuable skill in various mathematical applications. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to hit the like button. For more math tips and conversion guides, don't forget to subscribe to Visual Fractions.